Our order of operations are quite simple. The very first thing we do first, as we've said before, is we always do parentheses first. After that, we look for any multiplications and divisions. We do those first, multiplying and dividing are on the same priority level. Uh, one is not higher than the other, they're at the same level two priority. And then finally, we do any additions and subtractions, and again, adding and subtracting is also on the same priority. Now, we don't have exponents in here yet. We are gonna cover exponents separately later, and then we will fold exponents into the order of operations a little bit later. But I wanna get this practice uh, first. So, how do we conquer the following problem? Take a look at nine divided by nine times, parentheses, eight plus seven. What do we do? Well, we do the same thing we always do. We go to the first step and we look at priority number one, parentheses. We must do what's inside of here first. Yes, I know that there's a plus here and plus is the last priority, but because it's inside of parentheses, we have to do it first. So, the nine here and the division by the uh, nine here, that all comes later, and we multiply this times whatever this becomes. What is eight plus seven? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So basically you calculate this, drop the parentheses, and rewrite the problem. All we've done is that first. Next, we don't have any more parentheses, so we look for multiplications and divisions, and we have a division and a multiplication. Now notice you have a division here and a multiplication here. What order do you do them in? See, they're at the same priority order, so we must just do them left to right like reading a book. We don't do this one first. We have to do them priority left to right since they're at the same level like reading a book. So what is nine divided by nine? That's just one. And then we have the 15 here. I guess I should put equal signs right here. What is one times 15? Of course, that's 15. And then that's the final answer. So once we get to this point where we have the division and the multiplication, we do it left to right. We don't do, you know, we, you could make a mistake and do this first. Nine times 15 will be something, and then nine divided by that something, that's gonna be wrong. You have to do it left to right as we have done it here. All right, let's take a look at problem number two. Let's take a look at 10 plus eight divided by two minus five. First thing we check, do we have any parentheses? We don't have any parentheses, so the next thing we do is say, do we have any multiplications or divisions? We must do them all first. We have addition here and subtraction here. Those will come later. We must do this thing first. Even though it's in the middle, we have to do it first. So we the 10 plus stays for later. Eight divided by two is four, and the minus five stays for later. All we did is this first. That's it, everything else is rewritten. Now we have addition and subtraction. They're in the same line, and notice that addition and subtraction are in the same priority level. So we do them left to right. We don't do this first, we have to do it left to right. So 10 plus four is 14. This minus five will happen later. 14 minus five is nine. And then that is the final answer. Nine, nine is the final answer. All right, let's take a look at problem number three. How about? four plus one plus parentheses, two times two, close parentheses, close another parentheses, divided by three. Now remember we said before, we always do parentheses first, and if you ever have a nested set of parentheses inside of one another, then you must do the innermost parentheses first. We've covered that before. So we see parentheses here, we have to do what's in here first, but inside of here we have another set of parentheses. So the two times two has to go first. It has to happen first. So two times two is four. That we calculate first. This plus one plus four with the parentheses that surrounds all of it has to come later, and then of course the divide by three. All I've done is done the multiplication. Everything else is the same. I've just rewritten the problem. Now, we have this parentheses. We have to do what's inside of here first. Now, inside of here, we have a bunch of addition, so we have to do left to right. Four plus one is uh, five, and then we can go ahead and do the five plus four is nine, so this is gonna all become a nine, and then divide by three. Nine divided by three, as you know, is three, and so that is the final answer. All right, problem number four. Let's take a look at 10. We'll divide it by, open two sets of parentheses up, one plus five, close parentheses, divided by six, close parentheses. All right, what do we have? We have 
a set of parentheses here and we have an in interior set of parentheses here. So we have to do this one first, All right? So we have the one plus five, that becomes the six. This just gets rewritten. The outer parentheses gets rewritten. And then the division here and the 10 gets rewritten. So all I've done is made this a six. Everything else gets rewritten. Now what do we do? Still have to do what's inside the parentheses first. This just gets rewritten and six divided by six is one. Now what is 10 divided by one? It's 10. And so that's the final answer, 10. All right. See how we're doing, why we're doing this practice? Because in the previous lesson, we didn't have double nested parentheses like this. Now we're introducing a slightly more complicated problem. Let's take a look at 90 plus nine divided by three times one. What do we do first? First thing is always, always parentheses. Here inside we have a three times one. So that's what we're gonna do first. Three times one is three. Everything else just gets rewritten because all we did is this first. We can take the parentheses away after we calculate. Now we have addition and division. Of course, you know that division comes before addition or subtraction, so we have to do the division first. So this 90 will happen later. This plus sign will happen later. We do this first. Nine divided by three is three, and then finally we do this later, which is 93. And so the answer is 93. If you do these calculations in the in some other order than this, you will have almost certainly the wrong answer. If you get the right answer, it'll just be luck or coincidence. So you have to do it in the correct order. Problem six, let's take a look at 19, minus five, close parentheses, times 12, minus four. What do we do first? We ignore everything and focus on the parentheses. Here, 19 minus five. 19 minus five is what? 14. And then everything else gets written uh, just pull down and copy down. We just do this first. All right, so now we have multiplication and subtraction. Multiply, divide happens first. Addition, subtraction happens next. We have to multiply first. 14 times 12, I don't know what that is, so let's multiply it. So we have to multiply. Two times four is eight. Two times one is two, drop a zero. One times four is four. One times one is one, and we add eight, and this will be six, and this will be one. We get 168. That's what this is equal to, 168. The minus four happens last. So we subtract 168 minus four, 164. So the answer is 164. All right. Even though the numbers are bigger, same process. Next problem, only a few more here. Let's take a look at six times 10. Uh, times nine minus seven. What do we do first? We focus on what's inside the parentheses, this. We always do it first. Nine minus seven is two. We can now drop the parentheses. Everything else just gets rewritten. We have to do it later or figure out what to do in the next step. So here we have six times 10 times two. So here we have six times 10 times two. We have multiplication and multiplication. Which one do we do first? We do it left to right. Six times 10 is 60 still multiply by two, and 60 times two. You might not be sure, but if you cover up the zero, six times two is 12, add the zero at the end, you get 120. If you're not sure, just go 60 times two, and then you get zero times two is zero, and then this is two, 12 for 120. So 120 is the final answer to that problem. All right, we have I think only three problems remaining, and that'll be it. Let's take a look at 20. We'll divide it by 10, then we will multiply by three, and then add 48. First thing we do, take a look for any parentheses. We don't have any parentheses, so we're done with that. The next priority is multiply, divide. We have divide and multiply here. We also have addition. Addition is gonna come last, so forget about that. We're not doing that. So we have multiply and divide. We have a, a division and a multiplication at the same level. What do we do first? Well, we just read left to right. So we have to do 20 divided by 10 first. 20 divided by, divided by 10 is two. Then we have to rewrite the problem. All I did was do this calculation. Everything else is copied. Next, we have multiplication and addition. We have to multiply first. Two times three is six. And what is six plus 48? That's going to be 54. Just count up from here and you get an answer 54. That is the final answer. 
All right, only two more problems. We're going to have some nested parentheses here. We're going to open up two sets of parentheses and have a 10 plus 7 close times 4 close again minus 9 minus 4. So what do we do? We do parentheses first. We have parentheses here, but inside we have another set of parentheses. We must do this one first, 10 plus 7. 10 plus 7, this one becomes 17. Then we rewrite the problem. Essentially, we keep all of this, and then we just rewrite the problem. Do not try to do too many things at once. Just do this first. Now, we have a set of parentheses. We have to take 17 times 4. I don't know what 17 times 4 is, so I will multiply here. 7 times 4, 28. And then 2 times, I'm sorry, 4 times 1 is 4, 5, 6. So we get an answer of 68. This becomes 68. Minus 9, minus 4. I don't, I just rewrite the problem. I do that next and I rewrite the problem. Now I have two subtractions and I'm going to do them left to right because I, they're at the same level, obviously. What is 68 minus 9? Well, if it's 68 minus 10, it'd be 58. Uh, but it's minus 9, so it's got to be 59. So this is going to actually be 59, and then you're still going to have the minus 4. 59 minus 4, 9 minus 4 is 5, so 59 minus 4 is, uh, or just put it here, 55. And this is the final answer, 55. All right, now we only have, I believe, one more uh, in this lesson, and that will be the end of it. Let's take a look at 13 minus 6, close parentheses, uh, and then we'll multiply by 10 uh, plus 4, and then we will close that off minus 2. All right, so what do we do? First step, uh, parentheses happen first. So we can do these both in parallel, or we can do them one after the other, but they have to be done before everything else. So here, 13 minus 6, uh, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. This is going to be a 7, right? I guess I can make it clear, just leave that parentheses there. Then I can do this one also, because they're happening at the same time. 10 plus 4, 14. Right? So you can kind of mentally remove the parentheses after you calculate. We have to do 7 times 14 next, because multiplication happens before subtraction. So 7 times 14. 7 times 4 is 28. And then 7 times 1 is 7. And then 2 more is 9. So this becomes 98 minus 2. 98 minus 92 is 96. 96 is the final answer. So you see these problems are getting pretty complicated. Something like this, very difficult the first time you see it. Something like this even, very difficult the first time you see it. Uh, you, you have to follow the rules. And there's only one path to the answer in, this, in these cases. You have to go in the correct order or you're going to get the wrong answer. So we have one more practice lesson with order of operations just to make sure all of your skills are there. And then we'll be learning, of course, additional skills beyond that. So practice all of these yourself. Follow me on to the next lesson of Order of Operations Practice. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.